they used to use them in a different way. I'm not exactly sure. There was some kind of a thing that moved it, but I don't know how it worked. So. You know, I, I like the movement because it, it's a transformation of um, one, one thing that reacts against another thing. And it opens up so many possibilities, not only in the way it moves, but how it's transformed and uh, all of those things uh, for me have to do with the way we think, the way we feel. Or something, uh, some sort of transformation or the way something moves that will remind me of a situation or, you know, a situation that you're in and mentally and emotionally sort of a primordial feeling in the sense that I, you know, I'm looking for something that evokes something else. Souvent, à la fin, il y a quelque chose qui est attaché, qui n'est pas métallique. Et il faut que j'observe d'abord le mouvement pour savoir un peu ce que je suis en train de faire. Ça se dévoile dans le processus de travail. En tout cas, c'est parce que il y a plein de, plein de possibilités quand on commence à travailler avec le mouvement, euh, le type de mouvement, que ça soit chaotique ou, ou très fragile euh, ou euh, très méthodique et méditatif. Donc euh, j'essaie d'utiliser de, euh, des différentes des différents mouvements pour, pour évoquer un état d'être. Voilà. Uh, when I started to um, make this installation in the chapel, I wanted to relate somehow to the altarpiece, which is pretty imposing. And there were ladders in the, uh, the painting in the altarpiece, which there aren't always in any deposition or uh, um, uh, taking the body off the cross. So. I decided to use the ladder since it is a symbol that I use a lot and like a lot because it's a symbol of a connection between earth and heaven. I had some ladders at home and initially I was just going to make a large ladder, a very big one, and uh, as I was making it uh, I decided to use an old uh, dead almond tree in the back of our house and continue it so that it became a, a sort of a tree and a kind of a, a path. Something organic, something that would lead you from a very solid and um, kind of direct form, very functional form, to something that is very winding and fragile and organic and very airy too, that kind of breaks out into space. <laughs>